This month in the treehouse, we're talking about the word forgiveness. Forgiveness is deciding that someone who's wronged you doesn't have to pay. This forgiving others made the religious leader in Jesus' day mad for a number of reasons. For one, they liked being the ones that everyone followed. But they were also angry that Jesus chose to welcome everyone, even people who had done things wrong. The religious leaders believed that keeping all the rules made them closer to God than anyone else. Now, Jesus knew this was making them mad, so he told a story. Jesus often liked telling stories to explain things. He said once there was a man who had two sons. Now, today's story really is about the younger son. Traditionally, when a father died, his sons would receive an inheritance, which are things like money, land, animals, really anything the father had. One day, the younger son came to his dad and demanded his share of the family things. He wanted it now. Now, this is incredibly insulting for the son to ask his father for the inheritance. It was almost like saying, I hope that you're dead. Wow, can you imagine that? So when he demanded this, it made the father sad. But the father decided, okay, even though he was hurt, he agreed to what the son said. And he shared the family things with him. The son then packed up all he had and he left for a far away country. Now, in this faraway country, the son began to live it up with his newfound wealth. Yes, he started having parties. Not sure what he had at those parties, but he spent money, and he spent money, and he spent money, and he had nothing left. But things in this far-off country were about to get worse. Because in this far-off country, they started running low on food. <sighs> That's too bad. The son got desperate, so he went to work. He found someone feeding pigs. I'm not sure if you've ever fed pigs before, but oh my goodness, it smells. You feed them something called slop. Now, thankfully, the son shook off all of this and he realized that he could go home. He could admit that he had done something wrong. He could beg his father for forgiveness and be a servant in his father's house. After all, the servant in his father's house at least had food to eat, not pig slop. The son started off home. He saw his dad from far off, and his dad went, oh, It's my son! And he started running to his son. The son felt so bad for all he had done, but even before he got a chance to say, I'm sorry to the dad, his dad yelled, Quick! Bring the best robe! Bring him shoes! Bring him a ring for his finger! My son who was gone is now back! He's alive! I have found him! And they started a celebration. The younger son had completely messed up. The father had every right to refuse to bring him back. But instead, the father told his servants to bring a robe, a ring, and sandals for his son. He welcomed his son back into the family. Not only that, but he threw a big party for his return. Wow, that's amazing. The father had freely given the young son forgiveness. But the story doesn't end there. There's an older son, remember? He's out in the field. I'm wondering if he'll forgive the brother just like the father did. Well, you'll have to come back next week and find that out. Jesus probably told this story to illustrate a few different things. But one of those things is everyone needs forgiveness. Everyone, even you. Thanks for joining me this week, and I'll see you guys next week.